Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode number 18 of Let's Survive Vanilla Skyrim on Permadeath Difficulty. Uh, I'm back today, and today we are going to be taking on Ustengrav. But before we head in that direction, I'm first going to try to find uh, the husband of the unfortunate family who had their house burned down by Laylet, I believe. Because uh, we managed to keep him alive during the quest... Uh, laid to rest using a calm spell and I kind of would like to hear his unique dialogue that he should have now so I'm just gonna wait like four hours here until daytime get every NPC moving about town and see if we can find him real quick a fight what's going on oh whoa oh it's Rogar oh it's him oh well I guess he's not friendly um, don't kill him, don't kill him, please don't. Uh, this might turn ugly if the guards attack us after he dies because we get a bounty. Then we may have to run, let's just go away. Maybe he will uh, become friendly again in a couple days when we come back. Come follower, gold deer, don't kill him. We will have to check back on him later when he has calmed down. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna head off into the swamp here. I don't think we will need our horse. I'm just gonna select the right quest here, Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. We have a lot of miscellaneous quests. Oh, we never returned the supplies to Klimak. Hmm, that's some free gold right there waiting for us in Iverstead. Uh, let me double check what my difficulty is at. I believe it should still be legendary, yep. Okay, that's all sorted. We are actually level 22 already now, so we are doing pretty good uh, for the point where we are at during the main quest. We still have a lot of uh, challenges to face. Now, last time, of course, we cleared out this place, Movar's Lair, which proved to be quite, uh, uh, quite a close call in the end, but we managed to pull through. And I think, honestly, that Ustergrav is going to be a bit easier than that one. So we should be fine as long as we don't run into any crazy Charis Reapers here in the swamp. And the Charis Reapers are the massive underground... Oh, or spiders, for that matter. Uh, but the Charis are, of course, the underground insects. And the Reapers are their largest form. We're just going to leave that spider there alone as we approach Ustengrav here. I'm kind of sad that I don't believe I have a Dragon Soul. No. So once we get the shout that we get in here, uh, which has become ethereal, we cannot unlock it, which is a bit of a shame because it is very useful uh, for a variety of different things, including not dying, which is, of course, why we are doing this. To not die. Ooh, what a beautiful view of solitude, actually, from here. Amazing. So we are going to have some bogeys here outside, hope. So, uh, let's see uh, what we can do about them. Ah, fuck. Ah. Oh my god. Whoa, they both died simultaneously. It's probably his uh, fire cloak uh, ability that he has. And damages everyone around him. Hmm. All right, here we are. We got the outside bogies, bogies. What a word. Enemies, and we slaughtered them all. So uh, let's see about the inside ones. Uh, nice potion there. How many potions do I have left? Actually, that's kind of important information. Uh, we still have a very decent supply actually, so I think we should be just fine. There should be quite a lot of potions inside of here because it's a main quest dungeon and that's just how Bethesda design uh, works these days. So what are we gonna do here? I think I'm just gonna shoot fireballs. Yeah, come at me, bros. You are raised from the dead. 
Oh. Ooh, this might just be slightly more dangerous than I imagined. <laughs> we did not throw a lot of tactical insight into this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. This is going very wrong very quickly. Perhaps I underestimated this place. No, no, no. Stay out of my way. No, 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 no. Alright, I'm gonna need a uh, summon here. Okay, you're dead at least. Followers there. Let's get this adept. Okay, we, we used a, a lot of potions right here in the first room. Uh, that was actually quite bad. Oh, what is my keyboard doing? Alright, that should be it. Let's see if they have any good loot on them. Oof, look at this blast. Try to lock picking. Good for selling, I suppose. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, this um, room has kind of opened my eyes a bit that maybe it is a bit too soon for me to start getting truly cocky. So I'm just gonna be a bit more careful from this point onward and try to, um, yeah approach these fights a, with a bit more uh, preparation a bit more foresight now there should be a fight going on right down here we're just gonna wait for a second until we until the noise stops basically and then kill whoever's left I hope the Draugr win to be honest The question is, what will be better, my silver sword or my Skyforge steel sword? We will have to do another test. Let's compare the damage here. 19 versus like 35 is pretty significant though. Well, Fire Mage Adept, that's dangerous. Killer, come on. I think we're gonna be seen here, so let's start AoEing the shit out of these people. Right, she's basically dead. There's a white there. Block increase, very good. Okay, that was the steel, uh, Skyper steel. It's about the same now, actually. Ooh, 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 bad, bad, bad. We are getting uh, awfully close to low health uh, in these fights here. Fucking hell, she healed herself. Ah, okay, we got her. We got it. We got it. We're still alive. Gosh, I really hate mages. Too bad as I could have taken some po potions or something to make this a bit less painful. But to be honest, I really just want to get my hands on some resist fire gear, like enchanted gear, as soon as possible. Resist magic, resist frost, fire, and even lightning as well. Like all of it. All the resistances. And more health. And more magicka. We want everything. Oh yeah, what's this again? It already fell. Okay. Health, health. This is, I suppose, worth the money. 25 gold, 0 0.2 weight. 
should be a soul gem somewhere over here. Uh, we might have launched it away with our fireball barrage we did. Uh, this is actually the final room, I think, where we come out at the end, yeah. But there are a lot of urns here. And urns tend to have potions. So bear with me here as I just quickly... Oh, that one's empty. Scan through all these urns here. Hmm... Also, I need to check the time. Whoops, okay. And let's press on oh, another urn room. Oh, this is actually the one we come out, I think. Not sure. Anyhow, I do want all the urns. No potions in the urns so far, which is a bit of a disappointment. Oh, there we have one magical potion at least. Filter of lock picking. Minor Magica. Oh, a skill book. That's nice, at least. Actually levels us up. Very good. We're going to keep that level up for in a fight here in this dungeon. Because we don't really have any perk right now that we uh, specifically need immediately. Wait, so let me uh, get my bearings here. Okay, yeah. We're going that way. Ooh. More dead things. Yeah, yeah, okay, I remember. Let's see what kind of guys these are. I'm not sure. Maybe the Silver Sword is better. It does still seem to be a bit better, yeah. And anyway, it's cool to use a Silver Sword against Undead, so I guess we're just gonna do that. It's quicker, too helps. Uh, I don't think I can improve this though for some reason. It might be because I don't have the uh, smithing uh, like improve enchanted weapons perk but I don't know it might very well be possible that you can't actually improve silver weapons at all which would be quite a bummer. But uh, yeah I would love to do that because if we could improve this then it would definitely be much better than our current axe. Oh potion. Our potion. Yeah, these are all minor healing potions though it's kind of sad bandit iron armor really uh, low level loot here all right let's continue on oh don't forget the big sack of money here big 42 coins but all right and let's enjoy the view here beautiful Now, if you wait long enough, most of the skeletons down there will end up killing themselves in the fire there. But we're not going to do that because skeletons are weak. Anyway. Yeah, there you go, restless Draugr. Very dead. Some arrows, some gold. And here we're gonna have our first flaming pressure plates. So these are gonna be quite nasty later on in the dungeon. Which is why I'm kinda sad we don't have a dragon soul right now. Where's the other one? Another restless one, that's fine. Alright. Heal up. Oh. Let's get the silver sword back out. Let's put that on one actually for while we're in, in here. I don't think we're gonna face much else than Draugr. Nice. That was actually a very blocky fight. We blocked a lot. 
I don't usually do that and certainly don't advise it certainly not when uh, playing Iron Man because uh, you never really know how much damage you're gonna take Come on out. I'm not gonna use the oil because I want the XP. Actually, come on. Oh no, I didn't use the oil. Alright, I think there is a treasure we can get here. And there's two handles we need to press. Now, is there traps is the question. No, I don't think so. We do have an enchanting table here. And I'm actually kind of curious if we have anything worth disenchanting on us. Or enchanting, for that matter. Just for the XP. Are we wearing this? I was just talking about this earlier. We need fire resistance, but we do have some already. Um, this is extra magic. Huh? Hmm. How many soul gems do we have? Hmm. No very good ones. But we do have a bunch of items we could enchant here. Like this iron dagger with... Uh, 118, 638, 38. Stamina damage, apparently, because that is really, really good. 26 points of stamina damage. And with, like, two uses, probably. That's incredibly valuable for a, an Iron Dagger. So we're just going to enchant a few other things here. An Orcish Dagger with, uh, I guess, also stamina damage for that... Uh, sheer value that we get of that and we also get some nice level oh uh, there's another orcish dagger here which i'm also going to enchant the exact same way stamina damage yes petty soul gem oh uh, do we have anything else which is useless a ring here with fortify sneak is pretty good and Yeah, fortify sneak. Uh, and a petty soul gem. And then we're going to make one item. We're going to take one of our items that we use, but won't be using long term, like our gauntlets. Or our boots. Ah, resist frost. That's nice. Even though it's only three points. Uh, we're going to enchant those. And that's actually going to bring us to enchanting level 40, which is pretty good. And now we are gonna continue onward. Did we loot this guy? No, nope. 18 gold. That is 18 more gold than I would have had otherwise. Quickly peek up here. Nothing but a troll skull. Okay. And let's go. So I am actually gonna do this little little bit of parkour which is pretty rare in this game I am gonna need my shout whirlwind sprint here always make sure you look up a bit because else you're uh, oh. you're gonna fall Come on. Not dead yet. How annoying. You know what? We'll deal with him later. We can go back here. And this is one of the few real little parkour segments that Bethesda actually like obviously put in their game. Or put in their game in an obvious way. And it is completely useless, to be honest. Ooh, a glass war axe. We're gonna take that. I think if we improve that, it should be better than our steel one. Oh, but we can't improve it as much, so maybe not. Yeah. 
Is there another one? Oh yeah, there. With a sword. The fool. Okay, they are all dead. We're just gonna jump down here. I'm sure we'll live, yep. And then we're gonna just make our way down here before proceeding across the bridge because we want to pick up this word wall and something else. Mm -mm -mm. Da -da 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 -da. Fade become ethereal. Very good. We're just gonna go and peek behind the waterfall here because, you know, everyone knows there's always treasure behind the waterfall. Oh, this is actually a white, so we are gonna... Oh, no, wrong shout. Oh my god, that was... Almost very de deadly for us. But we are fine. Actually, I'm gonna quickly use this just to train my alteration a bit. Because he's not gonna hit us anymore. That's a honed Ancient Nord Great Sword, which is pretty good. A gold ingot. Very nice. That's some smithing XP right there. And another Orcish Dagger, which we can take and potentially. <laughs> Enchant with damage stamina for a uh, maximum profit. Okay, let's make our way up to the bridge over there, which is right above our heads right now. Cross it, and uh, wait, where's the way up out there? And proceed towards the end of the dungeon already. So yeah, the start, we started off a bit uh, iffy, but in the end, uh, this dungeon really isn't too difficult once you get through the first uh, phase with the mages. I, oh, I'm actually wondering if I was wearing that amulet. Yeah, I am. Hmm. Uh, I think the most of the mages in the first chamber were using ice magic though, so it didn't really help us. But that adept fire mage, it would certainly have helped us against her. All right, so I'm, I'm just gonna peek up here. Ah, fuck, I keep forgetting. I don't have fire breath selected. I also keep forgetting or <laughs> trying not to swear, but whatever. To be honest, I don't really care too much. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try to do this in one go. Yee, we did, and Goldears is gonna, you know, whoa. For some reason we tabbed out there for a second, but it's all okay. Goldier's gonna stay behind, but apparently not. Ah yeah, and this is where uh, I wish we would have had the Dragon Soul, because now we're just gonna take damage. Ugh. Oh, and there is gonna be a fight here as well that is not good at all. Yeah. Come on over. Now I do kind of want to select fire breath here. Oh, get out of here. Is this a safe piece? I don't know. Alright, get back here. Because there's going to be an even bigger spider coming from up there when we get too close. So. Oh, there he is. Okay, and we really want to stay away from that thing. Where is our follower? Okay, our follower is in there. Okay, I guess this one we want to use our actual axe. And then we want to get in there, and we want to use fire breath. Okay, it's actually taking quite a bit of damage. Which is both surprising and really, really good. Okay. Okay, we, we dealt with it. Good. These things hit you, you, uh, you can die pretty quick. 
and I think it's activating. Oh, these things with its corpse. Yeah, <laughs> great. Let's take the venom as a souvenir, I suppose. So, um. That doesn't work very well. Wooden door. And here we are in the final room, which is going to be pretty cool because of the heads or things. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Alright. Hop on over here. Failed. We failed our quest because we got this note. Mysterious note. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood and I'll meet you. A friend. Uh, I guess I'll take the note. And the treasure. Always take the treasure. And since we didn't really need to level up in a fight in here, I'm just going to do it now. I think I'm gonna go Magicka again one more time, and then the next two levels will spec into Stamina instead. And for now, there are a bunch of paths I could take. I could take Enchanting, more stronger. I want this one. Or we could take One-Handed, this one, uh, for reduced Stamina use, which I think I might actually do. Alchemy, uh, meh, maybe. Smithing, we can't quite take the next thing yet. We would need uh, one more level. We need like 31 more for Arcane Blacksmith. So uh, we won't get better silver swords until uh, a very long time, unless we decide to, I don't know, pay it up. Which I might very well do, to be honest. We could go for this. But I don't have a good helmet yet. Block is still always an option as well. I think I'm going to go for a one-handed. And I'm going to do a fighting stance. I will also unlock the higher tier perks here. This one especially is pretty uh, nice. This one is very nice. But it can... Like it changes your forward power attack in a way that gives you a bit less control over where you are. Which... Even though the extra damage it provides is very good, like it can kind of screw you over uh, if you're not used to it yet, and um, you end up coming way too close to an enemy that you really don't want to be close to. Or like shooting past enemies, wasting all your stamina, and then uh, being effed in the proverbial A. <laughs> Flames? Really? Oh my god. Um, what weapon are you using, by the way? Ah, oh, Warhammer, right. I thought maybe we'd give him the Glass War Axe, but I think I prefer him with the two-hander. Makes him do, uh, substantially more damage, I think. So, now's when we find out which of the urn rooms at the start was actually the secret exit. Let's see. Was it number one or was it number two? I think it was number. I don't even. I don't even recognize it. I think it was number two. Number one. No, it was number one. That was the first one we were in. We were in. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. No, actually, I really can, but it's fine. Ugh. All right. Huh? What? You're going to tell me a dragon is going to attack me like right now, right? Out of nowhere. To be honest, I wouldn't even mind too much at this point. So, I think we're gonna 
head back in the direction of Morthal. And perhaps before ending the episode, we will even set off towards our next destination, which is not Riverwood quite yet, because I really, really, really want to visit Dawnstar and visit this... Was there some kind of bug here? No, I'm imagining things. Oh, no, it's a mud crab. Oh, my God. Ugh. Should have known. Yeah, but I want to see the Beyond Skyrim Wares of Tamriel merchant in Dawnstar. So I'm going to be heading in that direction first. There is also a few interesting quests in Dawnstar that I might want to do. So, uh, but I'll decide whether I'll do those once I get there, I think. But yeah, plenty of reasons to uh, head there first before continuing the main quest. Including, for example, just leveling up a bit more. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, yeah, let's go. Swamps are a lot safer in vanilla Skyrim than they are in a lot of m mod setups, actually. I, uh, I haven't seen anything too dangerous except one spider. Oop, there's Morthal in the distance. It's a very uh, whitish day, very foggy, very unsaturated, saturated, Sa saturated, saturated. That anyway. Unless it's about the mirror, I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Hmm. The kind of um, nice atmosphere. Well, not, not nice in the sense of uh, I would want to be here, but nice in the sense of just atmosphere of like this mood of, I don't know, impending doom almost, I guess. Mysterious, dangerous marsh. I suppose it's kind of a trope of fantasy at this point, but hey, this marsh is frozen at least. That's a bit different. So we are right off towards Dawnstar. I'm sure, yeah, I was just about to say, I'm sure we're going to run into a spider here. So actually we're going to fight him from horseback, I think. If we just circle around him, he doesn't seem to be able to turn very quickly. Oh. Oh, our horse just got a bit hurt there. Yep, just stay right next to me, little spider, as I slowly chop off some body part to murder you. Yes, very good. Nothing else. No frost trolls or snowy saber cats or ice wraiths here to chew through my juggler. Oh, there's definitely some frost trolls up there in Labyrinthian. As many of you probably know. But we are not going to be going there for the moment. Hills, which is basically um, supposed to be some sort of settlement, but it's just a mine with one house and a few tents. Oh well. A little fox over there. And it's starting to snow. Night is falling. Beautiful. Oh, what is this? It's a bandit highwayman, at least. Oh. 
and a bandit plunderer and I don't really want to mess with a bandit plunderer as of right now on the other hand hmm should we interfere in this should we really uh, all right all right we're gonna interfere in this oh my horse is very eager to do so it seems Oh, don't get close to the frost atronach. Lesson number one. Then we're gonna heal up. We're gonna do the alteration conjuration combo. Oh, we're gonna refavorite our axe because it is much better against living things. And we're gonna start whacking this guy. So this is a three way fight. No, 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 don't focus on me. Not allowed. Oh. Waste of stamina there, but... Oh, now he's dead. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, Flame Atronach. Fire still beats frost, it seems. Now, where is this other person? If it's a plunderer with a bow, I'm really not happy. It doesn't seem to be a plunderer with a bow. It seems to be a plunderer with a hammer. Trying to kill a rabbit. Okay, get out of here! Get staggered, come to my companion! Fight him, fight him, fight him! Yeah, very good, very good, now I can kill you. Now I can kill you, yeah, yeah. Come on! Come on! Keep missing those power attacks. Oh, very nice gold here. This guy had it coming. This is 24 damage. What does your thing do? 25 damage. Oh, he actually already has a dwarven warhammer. For some reason. Fine. All right. Let's see what we can get off of this cart. Very little, I think. Oh, actually, uh, let's throw the basket out. Death bell, snowberries. Death bell, snowberry. Okay, not that much. Minor magic. Stamina. Oh, that's all half buried inside the cart for some reason. Uh, some ectoplasm. At least that's a rare ingredient. Mm -mm -mm. And where was the other guy we murdered wasn't he over here like right here huh I do knew where's my horse that's not my horse right no hello did he go way over there to fight hello Um, I think I lost my horse. And since there is a no fast travel rule in place, I am going to have to find him or lose him forever, I suppose. Well, not forever. Sure, I'll fast travel at some point for some reason, and then he will spawn next to me, but... Gosh, where is this beast? Hmm... I really hope he's not dead. I also can't find the other conjurer. Like the, the mage who conjured the... Um, Frost Atronach. I presume the plunderer took him down. And what's wrong with you? Why are you standing still? Let's go. Are you following me? Yes, you are. Okay. Hmm... All right, let's go into the forest here one more time. Let's see if we can find anything. I wish I had the footprints mod installed now. Oh, that's a rock, right? 
Or is that the dead necromancer? It does look like a corpse. Yep. Well, the fight was over here then? Where's my horse? My horse is gone. There's a dead rabbit, at least. It doesn't help that everything here is the same color. But seriously though, like, where could he have gone? I have no idea. Let's climb on top of here. Hopefully this won't result in our falling to our deaths. No, no, no. Oof. Oh my god, that was... Whew, I felt my heart sink a bit there. Uh, let's not try that again, actually. I don't want to risk it. But where is the goddamn horse? Well, I guess we're gonna have to press on without him. Or her. Without... Because her name is Queen Elsiger, so... I assume. Ah! Well, speak of the devil. I suppose I should have checked the road. Well, <laughs> alright, that was a bit of a waste of time. Oh, and now I hear a bear. Where? Let's just run. I don't want to fight a bear. I hope it's not a polar bear. I hope it's not after me either. Gosh, this place, like this area of the world, is really hard to find stuff, especially when it's snowing and dark. But oh well. You can see a lighthouse there, sort of, or this massive tower in the in the in the distance. And that is not really part of Dawnstar, but it kind of you know signals where Dawnstar is. It's like at the foot of that mountain. But let's check out this place here on the side first. Windward Ruins. Now, if I'm correct, there is going to be a skeever in here, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh that's a nice one. Very different. Ooh. Wolves. Stay away from my horse. Oh. You better stay the f away from my horse. I just spent like five minutes looking for it, right? That's like time investment there. You don't touch my time investment. God damn. Alright, let's go see if there's any loot inside. And after that, I think we'll call the episode right here. Hmm. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything. I wonder if anything happens if we put something on here. So I'm actually going to drop, uh, let's say... A stolen Enchanter's Potion. Nothing seems to be happening. Okay, let's steal that again. I hope Goldier doesn't mind. He doesn't mind if I bash him in the face either, so I'm sure he's fine. Just gonna climb on top of here. Get a good look at the Dawn Star in... The Dawn Star? Dawn Star. In the distance, over there, you can just barely make out, like, some of it. Like a house or two. 
and this will be the end of the episode. If you enjoyed the ride today, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe yourself to the channel if you're interested in more and leave a comment if you're interested because it would really help my channel grow a bit and uh, gain a bit more traction and I will be forever grateful. See you next time and uh, Miserick out. <laughs>